Hello gorgeous people, what is going on and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be very different from my other videos because today we are covering Jurassic Park Analog Horror. Now you may think that's very specific, but there's actually tons and tons of Jurassic Park Analog Horror videos on YouTube. Now because there's so many of them and there really isn't a super popular series on them yet, I've decided to handpick some videos and two mini series that are out so far. I'm really excited, we get a lot of different analog horror styles in these and some of them even have some cool jump scares. Links to all the channels that we're going to watch today will be at the top of the description down below. So as always, please be sure to go and support your analog horror content creators. And alright guys, enough of me talking. Let's jump right in. Video 1. San Diego Incident. Found footage. Okay. So I don't know what this is, but well, I guess I'll just let it speak for itself. This looks pretty good for animation. No, nothing's happening. Oh. Nah. Imagine living in your house and then this all this shaking starts happening. Okay, obviously we know it's a dinosaur, but you had no idea what it was, dude. Evacuating immediately. What is that sound? It sounded like that was a car. And now that... There it is! <laughs> There's the car! No, oh, I would've started running already! Or at least get in your house! Running way too slow. You're 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 gonna be this thing's meal. <laughs> what are you gonna close the blinds, bro? He knows you're. He just saw you. Yeah, turn the flash on too. <laughs> it's not analog horror if the main character isn't goofy. Oh, she's gonna leave him alone. Rest in peace. Wow. All right, so that was our first video. Apparently that took place on November 3rd, 1997. That was, I think that was a really good way to start off today. This is a very different video from what I usually do. So I wasn't not really too sure what to expect. A lot of these videos, we don't have to overanalyze or talk about for like 10 minutes because they're not a part of any series. They're kind of just solo stories. So like, I don't know if we'll ever find out, you know, why that dinosaur just wound up in San Diego and whatnot. But I just wanted to share some of these because I thought they were really cool. That video was by the channel Cronautican? Cronautican? I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Please be sure to go support these creators. But that one was really good. I thought the animation that was really, really nice. Like that was really well done. It wasn't bland enough to take me out. And I think the effects and layers of effects over it really made it good. And that was a good jump scare at the end too. That was fire. That actually got me. I really thought the dinosaur maybe left him alone and bro just walked away. But I called it. I said he was going to be that thing's next meal. And he was. But all right, let's jump into the next one. Video 2, Jurassic Park found footage, Outpost B. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so this one appears to actually be taking place in Jurassic Park at Outpost B. InGen. That is, a, that is a name that we'll see a few times today. This tape is the property of InGen Corporation. Any viewing outside of the InGen facility is highly prohibited. The following clips were recorded by security employees in the park during the hurricane of August 1992. 2.12 in the morning, it looks like. There's a the little security gates. I like that it's camera footage. I didn't really expect that. Everything... Oh. Okay. Nah, the power going out at a place like this is... Yeah. Shit. This is an outage. Near outpost B. This must be because of the storm. Someone yeah. better go there now and enable the emergency generator. Uh, not again. I've been last time. Now it's your turn. Yeah, sure. Get going if you don't want to be eaten. Oh, and don't forget to take the camera with you. Why do we have to film everything? Don't know, man. The, the, that's just the procedure. Gotta document everything at some of these jobs. Damn, bro. <laughs> Let's do this. Imagine being the guy forced to go do this. You know that there's a bunch of crazy, monstrous dinosaurs around you? It's definitely a good thing these things aren't in society today, man. This looks like an old outpost. Yeah, it definitely looks like an old outpost. All right, there we go, bro. Just turn it back on and head on out. Nice, simple job. Okay, power's back on. Nice. Oh no. Holy shit. Did you not see that? I have to leave now. How did you not see that? That definitely didn't happen just now. You would have heard it. I'm not gonna lie, it's cooked for you, bro. Oh my god, he actually got the safety. Oh, he's in... in one of those storage things. This thing isn't heavy enough to crush one of those, is it? Thing's gone. Run, bro, run! What are you waiting for? At least my people don't run it in the car. It was just hiding, waiting for him. I mean, they are animals, so... If a Tyrannosaurus is approaching you, remain calm. His vision is based on... His vision's based on what? Is that it? Oliver Paturo. Again, another straightforward one. Not much to talk about in these. It's kind of just cool to see them and react to them. This one says it takes place on August 10th, 1992. And in the pinned comments for this video, the creator says, thank you all for 100K views and 1,000 subscribers. You got to be patient, but I'm turning this into a series. Thank you for the support. So if you guys are enjoying these Jurassic Park analog horror videos, make sure to drop a like on this video and I'll be sure to cover more of these in the future, especially if some of these turn into series. I would definitely like to cover these. But that was pretty cool. I like that we got to see a map of the park. 
Like if we just check it out again, we got outpost A, outpost B, dock east, visitor center. So it would be cool to like see how, you know, all the different areas of the map, all the different dinosaurs that they have. I've seen a lot of the Jurassic Park movies. I'm not an expert at all, but it would be cool to get like some kind of lore in one of these series or something. Also, because a lot of these analog horrors are based around like Jurassic Park lore, you're going to see that name InGen a lot. That is the name of the company that was like growing dinosaurs in the series. So they're like the head company in charge. But all right, let's jump into the next one. Video 3, the Rustico series, InGen's hostile dinosaur safety video. Just before we start this one, this one is by the channel Rustico. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And this one is actually a little bit of a series so far. There's three episodes in this one. So this video and the next two are all connected. In today's video, we will be showing you how you should act when a dinosaur decides to attack into a vehicle that you are in. Okay. Section one, HV emergency. In any situation, if a herbivore dinosaur like the Triceratops decides to start attacking your tour vehicle, do not panic. Our tour vehicles can handle the force of powerful animals, but just for safety remain calm and quiet and grab the walkie-talkie that is placed in the back of the vehicle. Okay. Contact security, and we will play a frequency in your car speakers that will scare away the hostile Triceratops. That's kind of cool. Section 2. CBOE Emergency. Although the fences in Jurassic Park are electrified, there can always be a chance of a power outage due to the tropical storms that rampage through the island. This will cause the fences in the park to shut down, meaning that a carnivore like Joker <laughs> Viewing of this tape is prohibited. Whoa! It immediately. Viewing of this tape is prohibited. That's a good big turn. Immediately. Viewing of this tape is prohibited. Discard it immediately. I will not. No, I'm Viewing good. Of this tape is prohibited. Okay, and that's the end of that first one. Since this one is uh, kind of a series, we will go through some of the images that we I just played it by accident, my bad. Since this one is kind of a series, we will go through some of the images here. So we got this image of a dinosaur which looks like it's eating something. Hopefully not a human. January 29th, 94, 14Y. What is that? What kind of dinosaur looks like that? I don't think any dinosaur ex existed like that. Let me know in the comments down below, though. Okay, then we get an eye. Another eye. Jurassic Park logo. Then some guy. Another guy another dinosaur is that i think this is the one that has like that thing that goes like Dah! like you know it like kind of opens up and shakes another dinosaur little house another guy some kind of dinosaur i guess another one is that the stegosaurus i'm gonna look like such a dummy that's a velociraptor i'm pretty sure some dinosaur tracks another raptor another raptor another guy person yeah a lot of creepy images here that's definitely a dinosaur eating someone. All right. <laughs> that one was cool. I like that one. That was a cool uh, starting video for this little mini series. For what we actually learned about what the uh, what the tour vehicle does, that's pretty cool that it could like send out a frequency to stop the dinosaurs. But uh, they were about to say something about the electrical fence going off. And I would like to know like what the protocol is when that happens. Because obviously if the electrical fence goes off, the dinosaurs can low key kind of roam free because I'm sure that gate wouldn't stop them anymore at all. But all right, let's jump into the next tape. Video 4, the Rustico series, in-gen Velociraptor escape tape. In-gen file VBI8-1987. It's very bad. There's been a breach in security, and the Velociraptor is on the loose. The range on duty... Hold on, hold on, we'll go back so that you guys can listen to that. Also, what it, there was some text here. They are what? They are Easter. Oh, they are faster than you, Easter. Come on, bro. It's very bad. There's been a breach in security, and the Velociraptor is on the loose. The range on duty. Okay. 
Okay, something broke out of the fence. July 18th, 1987. These are pictures of it? No, that's a T-Rex, right? Back to the Velociraptors. Oh, someone's been messing with these tapes a little too much. Well, what do we have here? That's right. A Velociraptor. Velociraptors are extremely fast. These guys could run up to 40 miles per hour. Now, isn't that impressive? Once yes. you come across a Velociraptor running away from one, well, do you know better? They are faster than you, Robert. So start running. I'm guessing Robert was the guy on that call before. November 28th, 1990. Yeah, you're cooked, bro. <laughs> and that was the end of another tape. I'm almost enjoying how much we get in in these, even though they're so short. But yeah, these tapes are definitely, uh, they've been tampered with quite a lot. <laughs> Someone's been editing them just a little bit. Yeah, I'm guessing Robert was that guy at the beginning. A raptor got loose and then obviously he was trying to hide from it and it caught his ass. Is there a dinosaur horror game kind of similar to this i feel like that'd be a really sick concept like trying to avoid a giant t-rex or you know a velociraptor gets inside like a facility and you gotta hide around them that'd be awesome i feel like that'd be a sick game but all right let's jump into the third video video five the rustico series t98 spinosaurus ambush T-98, the Spinosaur Ambush, July 13th, Site Welcome B. Back. In today's video, we will be discussing how to handle dangerous situations that you may or may not run into on Site B. Section 1, oh, one of our most beautiful yet dangerous You are moving way too fast, I can't even read! Section 1, Stegosaur Panic Prevention. One of our most beautiful yet dangerous dinosaurs on the island are the Stegosaurs. Prevent the Stegosaurs from flashing lights sudden noises such as cars, boats, or anything that has an alarm. We definitely did not have 14 men die from a stegosaur encounter in August 5th, 1997. And we'll surely make sure it won't happen to you, 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 you. Ah. Yeah, I definitely don't Hello. trust you. Is anybody there? Paul, is that you? Yes, please send help. I was chased and now I locked myself up in an office. It's dark outside, and it smells me. Chased. By who? It was very tall. It had a long snout, and a very big fin of a sword on its back. It looked like a very big crocodile. I'm guessing that's a Spinosaurus. Oh, is that cool? Is that it moving through the building? What's the matter? It's... in the building. Please hurry. This is the only room I'll have a chance with surviving. I hear it walking in the facility. It knows I'm here. Just barricade the door, bro. You'll be all right. Haven't you paid attention to the security safety guide? Henry, this isn't the time. What do I do? Remain calm. Check the cam. Do you see it? All right, I'll check. down the hall I'm scared what do I do I guess your history what does that mean we'll remember you don't worry no that's Henry, crazy this isn't funny please help oh is that its eye yeah I'm not gonna lie you're cooked bro During day, these beautiful dinosaurs are calm and pretty tame with the workers. Although at night one of them isn't himself. We make sure after hours that nobody is left around his paddock. And if you are still in there after 12 a.m., the doors will be locked. That's when he becomes hostile. Don't bother trying to hide. He hears and smells you no matter where you are. And when he finds you, 
You better hope we fed him enough fit 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 I want to go back to those images. They think I'm a monster, but monster is what they call me. A monster they will get. Is that the dinosaur talking? Engine worker found dead in an office. Earlier this morning, an engine worker was found dead in an office with the bottom and top of his head completely crushed and ripped apart. What dinosaur would have done this? Investigation is taking place on Site B. So far, one of the suspects behind the murder goes by the name Henry Wu, which I believe is the guy from the movie who we actually saw like briefly there for a second. And the video just ends there. Yeah, when we see those eyes, it almost seems like that a dinosaur was talking there. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't know what kind of experiments InGen is doing. I don't know. Maybe they put some kind of like human mind into a dinosaur. Who knows? But I think this one's pretty cool so far. You're getting like some character names in this one. You're starting to realize that InGen is truly scum with just being like, oh, you're out there alone. Yeah, you're pretty much dead, buddy. Like a lot of people are dying at this place and there's kind of just no consequences for the company. But that was really dope. I like that. So that was the end of that series by Rustico. But now we're going to jump into a series by a channel called The InGen Tapes. There are five videos in this series. All of them are really short. They're all less than two minutes long. So we're just going to go through them and uh, see what they have to offer. Video six, The InGen Tapes, Dennis Todd. Dennis Todd was found dead in his security office in Warehouse 13. Dennis Todd was found dead in his security office in Warehouse 13. Dennis Todd was found dead in his security. Direct alert safe engine security. Is that it? All right, that was it for that one. But the description does say, Dennis Todd, my dad, went missing in 1994. In Jurassic Park's opening years, my dad was working as a security officer for InGen. He promised to take me one day. A box of VHS tapes showed up on my doorstep with a note saying, you are Dennis's son, this belongs to you now. Finish the job your father couldn't distribute the tapes to the public. I don't know what to think anymore. I was thinking for months about it, if I want to post these or not. I don't know if this is some sick joke, I've tried to get the name of the person who sent me the tapes, but no luck. So I decided to just post these to get this right off my shoulders. Honestly, pretty interesting. We got a story right off the bat. This guy's dad died, and it seems that he was trying to record something sketchy that was going on at Jurassic Park. So let's check out these other tapes. Maybe we'll, we'll get to know more. Video 7. The InGen Tapes. Hostile Encounter Training. As an employee, your well-being is important to us. However, many things can go wrong on the job. So we have prepared this presentation on Hostile Encounter Training. When faced with an aggressive asset, you must follow five crucial and life-saving steps. Number one, no matter the distance, you must not move or try to run. Number two, press the emergency button on your radio that must always be on your right thigh. At all times, the button will send out a distress back into the nearest security office. Okay. Number three, stay calm while help arrives. We cannot stress this enough. Number four, if an asset moves toward you, do not move. Number five, only move after an asset has been properly dealt with or sedated by a rescue team. And that concludes the presentation. Make sure to remember these five steps because you never know. Megan Diego. It was her first and last day. She didn't see the presentation. Her last moments were spent screaming for over, over the radio for help. I can't get her screams out of my head. Make it stop. I can't. Okay, so interesting. Now they say don't move like multiple times. Is that actually like, I know with some animals, if you don't move, they're more likely to not bother you. Is that the same with dinosaurs? I feel like it's not. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but obviously they should show everyone this safety video on day one of them working, if not before they even start working. Cause like they said, Megan Diego didn't get to see this video and uh, that was the end for her. Uh, the description for this one says, this is the second tape from the box. It was labeled as hostile encounter training. I watched through the entire video and I don't know what to think. 
I googled the woman, Megan Diego, and she did work at Jurassic Park as maintenance. She also disappeared, like my dad. You might be asking why it took so long to update you on the tapes. Well, after the first video, I kept getting this strange feeling that I was being watched. I wanted this weight off my shoulder, but after posting that video, it only seemed to get heavier every passing month. Um, I will say right off the bat, there are a lot of spelling errors in this description. I'm just letting you know that that's not me. But yeah, it definitely seems that somebody at InGen is kind of on to this and knows that these tapes were leaked to this kid, and uh, they definitely might be watching him. But he's still releasing them anyway, because we got like three more tapes after this one, so kid must be alright for a while at least. But uh, let's jump right into the next one. Video 8. The InGen Tapes. Tropical Storm Warning. Today, kids are pedaling a little quicker, doing their homework and chores a little sooner. Tropical storm detected. All visitors must evacuate to visitor center immediately. Tropical storm detected. All oh, we already know tropical storms mean bad news at Jurassic Park. Report JP349. Over 2,000... Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Over... 2,500 or 25,000 visitors were accounted for during a storm and following blackout. However, a total of 17 visitors were left unaccounted for. 12 were found safe and unharmed. There are only two known casualties. Well, the other ones must have died as well. Still working security systems detected a total of seven assets leaving their enclosures and roaming the park. Only three were found and contained, leaving four assets missing. Great, so you have four assets missing and then I believe five people missing as well. All visitors have been taken off Nisla Nublar and back the mainland. Publicly, the park has closed for repairs. I doubt the real story would get out anytime soon. Two bodies were found near the outskirts of the park. They were later identified as Clyde Jones and Amber Jones. A compact camera was recovered. Only one photo was taken on it. Oh, damn. I think that's what killed them. They looked like a raptor. Alright, so the description for this one reads, After watching this tape, I googled for hours looking for information about the incident shown on this tape. All I got was nothing. Like, this incident never happened. I then looked up those two people and I found them on a missing persons list. They were put on it in 1993. I don't know if this proves or denies the credibility of the tapes. I've been trying to find the person who sent the tapes to me, but still no luck. However, all of the tapes have the initials JE written on the back of them. But it's weirder is that all the tapes have fairly normal names. Like, this one was labeled as Commercial JP3, in fact. The beginning of this tape looked like a commercial I would always see on my TV as a little kid. Yeah, it looked like it started off as like a Jurassic Park commercial and then it turned into like a tropical storm video. If there's a lesson to learn here, guys, never go to Jurassic Park if it looks like there's a storm coming because their security system sucks. <laughs> I kind of like how many videos we're watching today because we're getting a lot of different styles. We're getting like 3D animation. We're getting like the uh, security camera perspectives. We're getting just the text on the screen style. Like we're getting all different types that we usually see. So that's really cool. But all right, let's jump into the next one. Video nine, the InGen tapes, relocation. In Jurassic Park, the place to go to satisfy a Tyrannosaurus-sized hunger is McDonald's. <laughs> a McDonald's Jurassic Park ad. InGen security. God, this tape looks really destroyed. The relocation project is a project to move high-risk assets to Site B to avoid harm to our employees and parkgoers. Site B is not open to the public and is located on another island. This island is not yet documented and if all things go well it will continue to be. We have a total of four assets we would like to relocate immediately. Asset 23 Asset 41 Asset 12 And Asset 87 Oh, I want to know what Asset 87 is. They lie and lie. A kingdom of lies. They brought back... We'll go back, don't worry. Is that it? Uh, what does this say? They brought back the dead. Is that what that's supposed to say, dead? Yeah, it does say dead. 
and something else. I guess I, I, when when they first said that, I thought they meant they brought back the dead people that died at the park. But I do think that's referring to like the dinosaurs as a whole, because like the dinosaurs are dead. But what else did they bring back? That's what I'm curious about. Probably whatever that that last dinosaur was that we didn't get to see. The description for this one says, hey guys, I'll keep this message short. Me and my friends are working to restore the tapes because of them are damaged from age. Also, I'm not dead. So that's really good. We know that the kid isn't dead. And uh, yeah, you can see that the tapes are definitely heavily, heavily damaged. So hopefully they do get better over time as we view them because they're a little too blurry, even for analog horror, just a little, little too much, a little too much. But all right, let's jump into the last one of the series. Video 10, the InGen tapes advised. Advised JP976. Many assets have been showing strange symptoms as of late. The first to show these symptoms were asset 87. Over a total of 56 different assets have been reported deceased due to this new outbreak. Whoa, Workers some kind of disease? Stay away from any asset showing the following symptoms. One, bloodshot eyes. Two, lack of eating. Three, coughing up blood. And four, increased aggression. If the asset you are selected to take care of begins to show these symptoms, report it to your supervisor immediately. Now, you may be asking why these measures are being taken into effect, it is because this new virus is very prone to mutation, and we fear that this virus can start infecting humans. This new virus is dubbed the DX virus. We cannot say any more about this virus due to a lack of information. However, we will keep staff updated on any future developments. Dennis didn't die to an asset. I wish I could have seen the sign sooner. Now he's gone. What did this one say? She tried to what? She couldn't spare the babe. She couldn't spare the babe. It sounds to me like it says she's putting to bear the babe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what she's saying in that one. This puts a really cool twist on all this. The fact that the dinosaurs have some kind of virus that could also spread to humans and sounds like it did spread to the humans it sounds like it did spread to this kid's dad dennis todd he was the first victim to get it that was a human i guess because they just confirm it too they say that he didn't die from an asset so he must have died to this virus the eyes of the dinosaurs bloodshot they lack eating uh they cough up blood and they have increased aggression and they actually do show a picture of the raptor that uh, was last seen on that woman's camera before she died. So that's actually kind of cool, like how those connected. They're, they're not just entirely separate videos. They're, they're, they are all connecting through a storyline and like incidents now. The description for this one reads, I had trouble sleeping for nights on end after my friend sent me this tape. The part at the end really stuck with me. I always know that something about my dad felt weird, but never thought that he, I don't know what to think. I just, how could they? They hid this from my family for so long. Don't they know how sad I was to hear my mom crying in her bed alone at the dead of night? Don't they know what they put my whole family through? Don't they care one bit? They hid this for years. I was only seven when my dad went missing. Every day I would hope and pray that one day my father could return home and give me the biggest hug in the world. I hate them for what they did. I will never forgive them. I hope this kid can somehow get revenge or truly expose the park somehow because that's definitely really sad that your dad just went missing and now you know it's from this virus that this company was trying to hide. But alright guys, so that was our Jurassic Park analog horror video for today. I know this video was very different than what we usually do. Usually we just target one series and follow it all throughout. But I didn't really think there was a series long enough in the Jurassic Park horror genre yet to kind of go into for a whole video. So I thought we'd go over multiple. If you guys did enjoy these series though, be sure to let me know which ones and which videos you liked in the comments. And also don't forget to like this video because if this video gets enough likes, I'll be sure to continue covering some of the series that you've seen here. Obviously, a huge shout out to all the channels that were mentioned today. The links to them will be in the description down below. Please support your analog horror content creators. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. We do videos like this all the time on my channel, and we're trying to hit 400k before the end of 2024. Now, right, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.